it's that time of year again. Time to take out my secret weapon. I call this the Black Death. However, this is the Black Death number two. For those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I've done quite a few videos on this. I've taken this variant out quite a few times. It's my Cataphract 3L variant. This is actually the loyalty variant from long ago, but you can do this on a regular Cataphract. You know, it doesn't have to be this variant. Um, this thing is freaking deadly. It's not called the Black Death for no reason. Now, this is the Black De Black Death number two because the Black Death number one, um, I changed the build just a bit to give it more range. So I changed some of the weapons out. The Black Death original Black Death is LB20 and five medium pulse lasers. Um, it shreds really hard and it's very good for close to light medium range. But there's the issue of when you get on maps like Polar Highlands, Frozen City, open range maps, Alpine Peaks, things like that. Uh, and even sometimes like Canyon Network and stuff, uh, you can be kind of left out um, and not being able to get your full potential if you're not able to brawl because sometimes matches are just long range fights um, and that can be an issue with this. So I wanted to add some range onto this so what I did is we went to the mech lab and I took off the 5 medium pulse and I added on 2 large pulse and a medium laser. That's really it. We got light ferro, double heat sinks, and endo steel. You got your standard engine. I got four tons of ammo. You can add more if you want to take off a double heat sink or two. You can. Um, this thing has ballistic cooldown quirks, ballistic range quirks, plus your skill tree. This is what the skill tree looks like. We got the cooldown range, heat gen, velocity, laser durations. Um, then I went over to kinetic speed tweak. Got filled that out. Then I went on over to cool run heat containment and filled that out. Then I went back with my leftovers. I went with skeletal density armor hardening. Just just because um, and that's it now this is the number two there is a black death number three which I'm itching to try out and what it does is it takes the original black death build that has an LB20 and 5 medium pulse and all you do is replace the LB20 with a heavy gauss heavy gauss and 5 medium pulse the range is there with those they're all the same but this one uh, is a great alternative if you are uh, you know find yourself you know, not being able to get to the enemy in time, or you're just out of range for most of the fight. This will do that. This will definitely fuck shit up. So let's go ahead and uh, we'll get into a match. And uh, I think I have time for yeah. We'll do one match and uh, show you how this thing will. Change shit up a bit. Change shit up a bit. Normally it's. An LB20 with five medium pulse lasers, but the medium pulse lasers, although it works well on certain maps, you just don't have you don't have that medium to long range defensive capability. You can't really do anything. You have to be within the close range to light medium range. So these large pulse lasers uh, are going to help out with that. Nice shortcut there. Nice shortcut there we just took. That's funny. Enemies on the other side, I'm, I'm guessing. Interesting. 
not seeing a damn soul. Are you on the other side over here? God, thank you. High or low? It looks like a Vulcan, but I only got a quick look at it. I hit the one person, and I pointed them out, and then they were gone. Negative contacts. Stuck in. Why can't I walk over this? Are you serious? That was that was a de that's called a death spot. That's where you get stuck and you for no reason. There we go. Clustered up here. Jesus, get me the fuck out of there. Rifleman down here at the corner. New target acquired. Yeah, rifleman down there. Bam, bam, baby. Bam. Call it doozy right there. It's a nasty bite. New target acquired. Got him. All right. Buddy. Ah, oh, crap. I did not mean to do that. I did not mean to do that. New target acquired. Not my lasers, I mean. The hell's back there? New target acquired. New target acquired. Ah! Suppressive box. Had a blood asp right there. What I got behind me? Dude, what the hell is that? Back here. No, nope, going back here. God damn it! Are you serious? Did I just lose all that. Motherfucker. Fuck you, blood ass. the atlas here
Atlas is down. Going for the Cyclops. Flash one. Woo! Well, I cannot believe it be 20 minutes. That pissed me off. Y'all did great. That would have been my last bit of damage on there. Me <laughs> too. But we could have pulled it out. If I wouldn't have lost that, we did 800 damage, which is nice. We did two killing blows, seven assists, two solos. So I guess I kind of deserved it, but I was hoping he was distracted by the person shooting LRMs at him. It didn't work. Two KMDDs, we did 800 damage. Pretty good. I shouldn't have. Oh, I mean, I should have lost the LB20. Obviously, I did, but I wish I didn't lose that LB20. That sucked. But we we brought it out, and uh, even on a, a hot map like this, it works really well. It's it's a fucking killer build. And this is the other side of it. There's two of them. There's this build right here, and then there's the LB20 with the five medium pulse, which works really good too. But this has that range on it. Um, but we kick some kick some ass in this. Highly, highly uh, recommended this this mech and uh, this build or the other build.